Let's look at how to solve problems involving the sine and cosine of complementary angles for the SAT. So before we get started with these problems, I just want to show one thing, which is that if this is x degrees right here, what would this other angle be compared to x if it's on a right triangle? Well, this angle plus this angle have to add up to 90 degrees. So let's just say that this is y degrees. So know that x plus y equals 90. If I solve for y, I just subtract x on both sides. y equals 90 minus x. So if you see 90 minus x, that would be the same thing as saying it's the other acute angle in a right triangle. Okay, so I'm just going to write this. Think of 90 minus x as the other acute angle. All right, so let's Let's go on to these problems here. If x is the number of degrees of one acute angle in a right triangle and sine of x is 3 over 5, find the cosine of 90 minus x. Last well, thing, find the cosine of the other acute angle. So let's draw this out first of all. We've got a 3 uh, on one side. So let's see. Let's make x, x is going to be here and sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so that's going to be 3 and 5, opposite hypotenuse. That's going to be a 3, 4, 5 right triangle. You can use a Pythagorean theorem. 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. So I might as well just fill this out, and I know all the side lengths. I need to find the cosine of 90 minus x. Well, that would be this angle right here. Let's just pretend that x is 20 degrees. If that's 20 degrees, this would be 90 minus 20, which is 70 degrees. All right, so anyways, this, this is going to be 90 minus x. The cosine of that angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's also going to be 3 over 5. So this would equal 3 over 5. So we found that the sine of one angle is equal to the cosine of the other acute angle. The opposite side for this angle is here, and that's the same as the adjacent side for this angle, which is also here. So we take that 3 and we divide it by 5 for both the sine of x and the cosine of 90 minus x. We could flip this as well and say that the cosine of one angle is equal to the sine of the other acute angle. So that's just a nice fact to know for the SAT. Number two, for questions two and three, in a 5, 12, 13 right triangle, x is the number of degrees of the smallest angle. Find sine of x. I'm going to draw this out. 5, 12, 13. x is the number of degrees of the smallest angle. That's going to be this one right here because it's across from the shortest side length. The sine of x would be opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, so that's going to be 5 over 13. Find the sine of 90 minus x. That's the sine of the other acute angle. So that's going to be the sine of this angle. Opposite over hypotenuse is 12 over 13. Okay, number 4. If the sine of 90 minus x equals 8 over 17, find the cosine of x. I'm going to draw this out here. So we have 8 over 17. Well, that, that's the sine relationship. So that means the opposite over the hypotenuse. So let's say this is 8, that's 17. This would be 90 minus x right here. And that means that the cosine of x, x is going to be this angle. Well, the cosine of this angle is also 8 over 17. Okay? So that's 8 over 17. For the triangle from question number 4, find the sine of x. The sine of x is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. I don't know this side yet, so I'm going to need to use the Pythagorean theorem. Let's just call this side a. So I'm going to get a squared plus 8 squared equals 17 squared, and that is a squared plus 64 equals 289. 
If I subtract 64 on both sides, I get a squared equals 225. I'll take the square root and I get a equals 15. So this is gonna be 15 for this length. I need to find the sine of x. That's 15 opposite over hypotenuse, 15 over 17. 15 over 17. And for all of these, you know, if you forget sine, cosine, tangent, use SOHCAHTOA um, to help you remember that as well. Okay, so that's how you can solve for questions relating the sine and cosine of complementary angles on the SAT.